Hello, and welcome to another broadcast with Gian. Watching this program, you are going to be inspired, challenged, and enlightened. Now, let me introduce to you our host, Gian. It is interesting when you are talking with certain people and they say to you, I am exhausted. I am really, really tired and I need a break. I want to take a break. You look at them and you say, that's understandable. Now, are all your bills paid? Do you have everything under control? Things are going well in your life? Are you really in a position to take a break? Because who wants to be broke and who wants to be in a financial difficulty? Who wants that? But there are many people that they are not making enough money. They are not putting enough effort in what they should be doing. And as a result of that, they are broke. How you can take a break when you have bills to pay and you have so much pressure, you can lose everything. Now, it's very different for, for an individual that is taking good care of his financials and everything is going well, so now it's time for this person to take a little break. So how can we have a balance between putting effort into things and at the same time being able to rest a little? You know what is the difference? The difference is between individuals that are working in a random way and others that have a vision. Because anyone can get a job doing anything, you know, and work uh, doing this thing here and these other things there in a random way. There is no path. There is no career. There is no skills development process at all. It's just random work. Of course, you are going to make some money and you will have some money to pay bills. But let me tell you, for those who have a vision, life is going to be much better. That is why you need to research about your own skills, your own abilities, because anybody has skills and abilities, talents. You do have talents. You need to find which ones are those that are inside of you. Absolutely. Now, when you see people that are working and they really are exhausted, even though they have a good plan, a good career, sometimes I wonder if, if they are like uh, those dogs. Have you seen those dogs that are chasing their own tail? And they are spinning, spinning, spinning. Sometimes we probably will, will do something like that. Just not organized. That's the problem. You need to learn to organize your work in order to be effective because it's not about the number of hours. It's about being effective, being productive. Exactly. Now, for those who have a good plan, a good vision, a good career, that are working organized, eventually they see that there are some results. And when you have some results, it's the time for you to celebrate your victory. Do you celebrate your victories, my friend? Or you just want to keep on going, keep on going, keep on going? You know, we know that our individuals, that they, they wash, they clean the cup of coffee in the office and they put a post in social media saying, I clean up my cup. It's like a great success, right? I'm not saying you need to be posting every single time that you do a little thing. But from time to time, it's good that you acknowledge yourself, that you are being successful in what you are doing. You need to celebrate your own victory. Some people cannot, let me repeat this to you, some people cannot acknowledge that you are doing great. It's because of jealousy sometimes. Sometimes they are very competitive, they don't want to admit it. 
But most of the time, it's because people are not used to compliment others. So you don't need to be waiting to see who will say to you, bravo, you did it great. You need to learn to celebrate your own victories and say, you know what? I feel happy because I accomplished this, this week, last month. I'm going in, in a process of learning this or learning that, and this is the result of my effort. You need to do that. But it's also important that after you celebrate your victory, you take your time to review what happened during that season, during that period, that week, that month, and, and try to understand if everything that you did was done in the best possible way. And sometimes you will find that some things you could do better. Then is when you will need the support of a mentor. Who is your mentor, my friend? Who is the person that you go to and you say, I want us to take time to review what I have done the last week, the last month, the last uh, three months in my life, in my career, with my life, with my health, with my investments, with my studies, with anything that you do. Anybody that is seeing you from their perspective will tell you quickly what is what they see, good and bad. You need to find your mentors, your dad, your mom, any person that you know, a mature, decent, successful person, preferably. Those are perfect candidates to become your mentors. And you need to have mentors in different areas of your life. Individuals that can help you to find success in what you do. And once you get there, then you can start setting new goals. And you say, okay, I'm happy with what I have accomplished. Now I'm going to set my new goals because you are accomplishing things. So now you are going to go after new things. Then, my friend, is when you need to change activity. Because if you keep on doing the same thing and you don't take a break, you will take that break in the hospital. Mm -hmm. One of my friends one day said to me, he's a doctor, listen, Gian, if you don't invest money in vacations and, and resting, you're going to invest that money in the hospital and doctors. What do you choose? Oh, hello, let me think. <laughs> yes. Anyway, we, we will need to use money, whether it's resting or having fun or medicines and doctors. You know what I found so interesting? This passage from the Bible, the book of Exodus, chapter 20, it says, work six days a week. Then take one day of rest to honor the Lord your God. How important is to take a break, my friend. And remember that that day, it will be ideal that you worship God and you say, God, thank you for my life, for my health, for the intelligence you are giving me, the strength and skills you are giving me so I can do my job. That day is going to be a great day for you because you are resting, but also you are honoring God. I have found in God that hope, that joy, that happiness. My desire is that you will find it as well. Thank you for watching another broadcast with Gian. The schedule of this program, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Check the website mygiancarlo.com for more videos. We hope to see you soon.